rural and regional areas. As time progresses, more and more people are turning to a rural lifestyle. It could be the spectacular scenery, the sheer vastness and the space. It could be the pure, natural wonders that pop up wherever you look. The flora and fauna. The roads that stretch for miles and miles, passing scenes of beauty along the way. The community atmosphere, or the ability to let children run wild. But what about the people that have always lived beneath these mountains, along these winding roads? What about the young women that have never known any different? Let's take the guesswork out of this. Meet Lily. She's 18 and has just moved back to a rural community after a year living in Europe. I feel like everyone perceives rural communities as very old fashioned, or at least that's something that I see. You know, a bit more conservative, a bit more stuck. A concern for many of these young women is that the patriarchal traditions of a rural community are still as present as ever. I definitely think that there's a stigma around females in rural communities. Um, I think the rural that I grew up in is very different to actual, you know, farming ladies who have to do it for a living um, because it would be hard and I think there's a big idea that women can't do it or they're not tough enough for it and I think that isn't correct because like, of course they can. The international push for equality of both men and women does not go unnoticed by young females in rural areas. Meet Piper. She's also 18 and an international equestrian champion. Um, I don't really believe any of that. I think if a girl really puts her mind to it, she can do just as much or maybe even more as a um, guy could do on a farm or in the rural area. Although she holds a simplistic attitude toward women in the rural community, Piper has concerns in relation to the opportunities available to young people living rurally with certain skill bases. You know, I can't take my horses and stuff with me um, if I wanted to go to uni in a city because obviously they're not going to live in the city. So if I wanted a more um, a job that has, you have to go to uni for, it probably would affect me being a, um, as a rural person. Um, I don't see myself living here for the foreseeable future because um, there are as many opportunities in the field that I'm interested in. So it's a great area. If, you, if, what, if it's agriculture is what you are into, then you are set. You wouldn't need anything else. But, you know, it just so happens that that's not what I'm interested in. And I plan on moving away, you know, whether that's for university or work which I think is the case for a lot of young people in rural communities because there's just not enough in the little towns anymore for us. A huge problem facing the youth of rural areas is access to different services, which are readily available in more heavily populated centres. This can affect mental and physical health. It is something that you can see statistically the areas of Australia that are you know, lower educated or things like that are rural and remote or have, you know, higher health issues is because they just don't have access to the kind of health care. It's just going to then, um, going to a rural school and then moving to a um, city school, I definitely probably don't know as much as those that go to a city school, so I do probably, because we focus more on the agricultural side of things rather than probably the things that we should. Despite the shortcomings of living rurally, these girls certainly know that they have plenty to be thankful for. So I think, you know, they say that um, sometimes you have to step away before you can see something for how it really is. And I definitely found that was the case when I moved away for the year. Um, it gave me a real appreciation for being able to grow up with space. We can be loud as kids, we can play, we can run outside, which is so important. And, you know, when you're seeing how other societies have to do it, whether, you know, it's in town, there's things going on with kids, you know, disorders, like not spending enough time in nature or not using their imagination with playing and things like that, that I think is something that 
was greatly contributed to being out but growing up here. Um, I think everyone's got their things that they're good at so even if I'm brought up in an agricultural area um, I still could probably put some of those stuff into for example if I did policing obviously you need to be fit and stuff and you'd be fairly fit from working on a farm and riding horses so it'd probably work in your favour as well. Everyone knows everyone and it's quite nice. It's a bit of a safety net. It's something that I think I realised just before I turned 18, trying to sneak into the local pub and realising it's not going to work because everyone knows everyone. I think I just like the view and just everything. Oh, I don't actually exactly know what I like about it because I like too much of it. So. And so it seems that the struggles of being a female in a rural area truly are outweighed by the positives. And with scenes like this, you can truly see why. Mm -hmm.